Chizeon, Revelation 10. And I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven, clothed with a cloud. And a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it were the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. And he had in his hand a little sapphire open, and he set his right foot upon the sea, and his left foot upon the earth, rather on the earth, and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roars. And when he had cried, seven thunders uttered their voices. And when the seven thunders had uttered their voices, I was about to write. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Seal up those things which the seven thunders hath uttered, and write them not. And the angel which I saw stand upon the sea and upon the earth, lifted up his hand to heaven, and swore by him that lives for ever and ever, who created heaven and the things that are that rather that therein are, and the earth and the things that therein are, and the sea, and the things which are therein, that there should be time no longer, but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of Yah should be finished, as he has declared to his eth servants the prophets. And the voice which I heard from heaven spoke unto me again, and said, Go and take the little sapphire, which is open in the hand of the angel, which stands upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel, and said unto him, Give me the little sapphire. And he said unto him, Take it, and eat it up, and it shall make your belly bitter but it shall be in your mouth sweet as honey. And I took the little sapphire out of the angel's hand and ate it up, and it was in my mouth sweet as honey, and as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, You must prophesy again before many peoples and nations and tongues and kings 